If you've ever dabbled with vegetarian cooking or you're interested in finding out whether going meat-free does make you healthier, Julie Buso is the woman for you this morning. She's got a new cookbook out. It's a vegetarian one and it's called Fresh... Hi, Julie. Hi there. This is... I'm more excited about this cookbook than any I've seen recently, I think. Oh, I'm pleased to hear it. You like vegetable well, cookery? Well, I'm or? just such a... I'm so boring with my vegetables. Broccoli and carrots, broccoli yeah. and carrots, night I, after I night. I think so a lot of people do great. get uh, trapped into... That's what Simon's isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what Simon's <laughs> Did you ever cook that lamb rack? No, that's kind of... That's, <laughs> that's not that's kind of... <laughs> no, 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 we carry on. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people with vegetables, they tend to get into that rut, particularly in winter, and they go into the shop, whatever it is, and they just see the same things. Mm. Potatoes, cumbras, mm. pumpkin, broccoli. And they don't kind of look beyond that or think of, of what they could do that adds a little bit of excitement. So the idea of this book really is to, yeah, I cover a lot of the basics and I think you need to do that in a vegetable book. But it's a bit of inspiration there as well. I mean, I've got things, for instance, you just flicked past hot cucumber. Now that is a fantastic vegetable. It's a wonderful thing to do with a cucumber. Hot People tend to, cucumber. tend to think of cucumber mm. as a salad, but if you just toss it in a little bit of butter, you could use olive oil. I've got some chives in there. It's wonderful with fish. And that's a, a totally different way of using a cucumber. Speaking of fish, this is not a totally vegetarian cookbook, is it? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's got a little bit of bacon and a couple of soups, but uh, and I do recommend some meat things to go with with some of the vegetable dishes. But its strength is it is a vegetable and cookbook. And there's a uh, smoked fish, a lovely smoked fish. Uh, yeah, fish cakes are wonderful. Fish cakes, that's yeah, right. they are beautiful. Hot salmon fish cakes, and they're in there because, of course, the basis of them is potato, and there's lovely avocados in there. A little bit of chili and fresh lime. They're actually the best fish cakes that I've ever eaten. I mean, if I can say that. So about if my I do own. say so. Well, I say that about my what own have cooking? you got here in front of us this uh, morning? Two things from the the book. Uh, some roasted red peppers, and uh, they're very easy to do. I've just halved them. But when you halve them, you want to keep the, the core in so okay. that you get, you know, it's like a little boat. And then it will keep the juices in there. I put some garlic to in there. take the seeds out. Yeah, the seeds out and all that kind of um, uh, white uh, mm. matter. And then I've just roasted them, a little bit of olive oil on them, roasted them on high uh, for about 30 minutes. Then the juices and the garlic that's in there, you take that out, you put it in a food processor with maybe one pepper, blend that up, stick it in a pan with some fennel seeds, a little bit of seasoning, and some cream. This is a naughty one. This is what you'd have for a main course, so you're getting a little bit of richness in there. Right. But that fennel flavour coming through there is just divine. And potato and asparagus salad, and that's really good for this time of year because asparagus are, of course, just at their peak. And I've got purple asparagus in there. Mm. And the herb on top is? I've got lots of mint, fresh mint in there because that's growing wonderfully well at the moment. I mean, you just look out your garden and if you've got any herbs there, they should be flourishing at this yeah, time there's of year. butter on there as well, isn't Oh, it? there's no butter on those potatoes. Oh, really? oh no, no, no. <laughs> That's olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie. They look great and we'll hoe into those in just a minute. Um, watch out. The, the book is launched this Friday. This Friday, yeah. With a huge 120-person lunch.